Hi, I'm Paqueta12 and today we play with uh, Plexus and uh, I've done this a uh, while ago uh, in a tutorial um, it's not on YouTube, uh, it's an old one on, on Facebook but uh, anyway, uh, today we'll, uh, we'll make it um, uh, way much better and uh, much uh, faster so uh, we'll uh, recreate this uh, uh, network and um, we can have a, a geometry uh, along the the lines and uh, also some some uh, um, different uh, size uh, on for for the spheres judged by how many connections uh, uh, a sphere, uh, a point might have with uh, with all the others. So, yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Okay, I leave this aside to guide me if I do something wrong, and uh, let's uh, start clean. Okay, and uh, what we need first, so obviously a constant chop. Okay. And here we need the, the amount of uh, the points, so let's say uh, count, okay, and uh, let's go with uh, 1000 or, yeah, I don't know, yeah, it's good, 1000. And uh, yeah, let's have a, a null here, and uh, I will make a folder in between, like this. And uh, what I want to have inside uh, a size for the mm, minimum texture that uh, I need for 1000 points. So uh, I use a select here. Okay. I take the count and uh, rename it to map. And uh, now a mat will do the square not the square, the root, okay, and so uh, here on mod, if I choose ceiling, we put a merge here and now we have a map um, size for our texture, okay, and uh, let's go for the noise not this one, instead the uh, noise top, okay, and uh, we have this uh, resolution now, we can, uh, we can use, okay, and uh, here we have 32, uh, multiply 32 points, and so uh, there are uh, a bit more than 1000, and so we want to, to mask uh, all the others to mask them with uh, black okay and uh, first let's set these uh, nearest pixels and uh, 32 RGB like this and uh, not monochrome okay and uh, yeah we have those uh, points now I would like to use a ramp here and this would be 1000 by 1 okay and actually let, let, let's go with with uh, uh, a, a lot less uh, maybe 32 yeah because it's it's better to to see so here we have a 32 mono okay and nearest pixel and now I want to have those uh, uh, pixels into a square um, texture and uh, for that I use first a group top okay to add the, the uh, empty ones okay okay like this and uh, here in group instead of 32 we take the map and we square it 
okay and here I need to to take uh, zero and now I have a texture that uh, I can uh, uh, take it into into jobs and uh, shuffle this by um, splitting n samples and for n we take this map okay and now we have this texture okay which is uh, much nicer now with this one we can chain a mod you can have this texture either for some index or you can use a, a mod and go for ceiling and now we have the mask we need so in this point we can um, multiply this okay with uh, those points here and uh, I use a reorder to see the uh, empty uh, points uh, transparent and for this we choose here RGBA and uh, input to for alpha take the red okay and now we good so now we have the 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 points right right here okay and um, yeah let's uh, let's see the points so we take a sphere here and uh, transform okay and uh, let's go for the sphere for polygon uh, detail it's good and radius uh, 0 5 here in transform we divide it with 1 to 8 yeah and the uh, geometry okay we'll take this texture okay and now if we split the the screen okay now we have uh, the the points we we need let's make this a little bit smaller okay and uh, yeah we can we can uh, use here offset zero to to put everything in uh, in center and you see uh, we have couple of of spheres right uh, in uh, uh, zero those are uh, the ones uh, 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 that are transparent here in the in the texture so obviously if i use uh, alpha out of this texture let's put this texture here into default instance operator now we can get rid of uh, this one and for the scale i will uh, take alpha for uh, all x y z coordinates okay now the the center is uh, clean let's have this uh, spheres uh, uh, moving by having a speed here uh, 0.2 and uh, we go inside in this folder we select the the speed we rename into time and now uh, speed job and now we have the time and uh, we use that here into transform translate z for the noise okay now the points are moving okay let's uh, reduce a little bit uh, the speed and uh, what we need now let's bring the the texture with uh, the points position here okay we want to find out the distance from each pixel here in this texture to any other 
okay and for that we need to rearrange this texture into a linear one and the reason for not choosing uh, from the beginning uh, a noise with uh, I don't know 32 by 1 uh, is that the the um, distribution of points it's much better into uh, for a 2d texture okay so uh, yeah now if we want to to convert this into a one line texture we can go with chops and uh, um, shuffle um, sequence channels by name and so on but uh, that would would bring some some uh, fps drops when when this texture it's it's big and we want to have this texture really big okay so um, yeah what we do is uh, we use a component a custom one and uh, let me show you what this does okay now I have here all those points into a linear distribution uh, using two ramps and uh, yeah this is a very powerful uh, component uh, you can uh, you can use it uh, frequently in in your project and uh, I want to to get rid of the the empty pixels here so I use a, a crop okay and uh, let's group right by by the count okay and um, now we good okay from here I would like to fit this into a square uh, resolution and we do this so fit here we need to go with uh, fill and uh, nearest pixels okay like this and now we flip this with bottom left and out of here let's make this uh, and uh, yeah just one thing this fit has to have the resolution uh, 32 by 32 okay okay now we now we good from here we do a subtract like this and uh, let's uh, mask the alpha okay and out of here we need to uh, find out the length of the vectors so uh, here we have uh, uh, the vector uh, direction from any point to any other okay obviously in a, in a, a duplicate manner we have here two halves right the the one above and the under and uh, we can see that much better if we use a mat now and uh, we go for um, land uh, mask alpha 32 mono and the uh, nearest pixels you see it's uh, this texture is mirroring by uh, uh, the this diagonal line which which means um, a bunch of zero points since here it's the distance from point one to the same uh, point so yeah and uh, <coughs> we would like to clean this up and uh, uh, only take into consideration uh, one of them okay so for this we can uh, build a texture based on a, a ramp so let's have a ramp and this one will take the resolution 32 also our count okay and uh, this ramp should be 
um, um, 32 mono okay uh, here we go with um, radial okay and the uh, position should be 0 0.5 0 0.5 okay and let me see the face should be uh, somewhere here and this it's 5 divided by 8 now it's 3 okay and uh, now we use a mat so what what I did here it's it's uh, the radial ramp which which uh, uh, gets rotated you know in uh, in uh, uh, three times half of a, of a quarter okay so uh, three divided by eight yeah in a minus direction here with this math we uh, take. Um, round here and let's check we don't need anti aliased at all and now we clean and we have the the texture we need okay and now we can multiply this <coughs> so we multiply this we have the only one half here okay and uh, here we go with the uh, chroma key okay and we want to select um, some distances which uh, we can we can set the the values here not here sorry in in val okay so here we can all we can select the 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 pixels the distances in between those two values okay and uh, now we we good and uh, out of here we will use this for uh, uh, having the distance okay let's let's make like this so we we compute here the distances i will i will use a couple of selects and you'll see why in a second so okay let's grab this one it's the distance another one would be the position the position I, i'll take it from um, this fit okay and uh, this texture with uh, um, this subtract texture uh, I'll take this and uh, actually this is the, the uh, direction uh, vector okay and uh, what can we do now let's see let's chain a null uh, for for all okay okay and uh, you notice only only for distance i i have uh, uh, only a half of the values i need to do the same thing for for those two so uh, i can select this uh, uh, texture and uh, multiply okay and also another multiply here and uh, and we good and let's have some names here so this uh, now we say Land, land. Um, this one is uh, position, and this one is uh, direction. Okay, 
we good let me check if everything is uh, nearest pixels okay okay and now I would like to have um, a line connecting uh, the points which are in a certain uh, distance okay let's have uh, a line here okay and it should be on uh, Z I believe so zero here and one here okay and uh, we use a geometry okay and let's take the position first let me uh, okay click this so we take the position here and we go for uh, R G and B okay what else uh, the length we take it here in scale and uh, we use uh, R for uh, Z and now they have uh, different lengths okay and what else here in instance 2 tab we take this direction here in a rotate 2 vector and we take R G and B okay and uh, yeah it's um, it's looking good but the the length it's uh, crazy we go here and instead of default we take pre root and now we good so now we have the the uh, plexus let me put a constant here okay so now we have a, a plexus which actually it's it's super super fast uh, if we increase here let's say the amount of point so you see I have uh, 60 FPS and uh, a lot of other uh, tasks that are running uh, in the same time but uh, yeah this is um, quite quite uh, fast and um, we can um, we can optimize this a little bit and uh, let's have a look if uh, for example let, let me let me reduce the the number here just a little bit like this okay and um, let's use a color also I would like to have the color out of the position so uh, maybe I use a limit top here and uh, I normalize this into zero one then I multiply with my uh, mask like this and uh, this is color okay let's have a crazy color for this okay now we know those are uh, maps okay and let's use the color here in the second tab okay okay now we we good maybe if we uh, set the uh, speed a little bit lower okay like like this now we can optimize this by making some texture which it's half the size of this one since this one only takes uh, half of the points okay and how do we uh, do that okay so I will use for this I will use an UV and so um, uh, I have one here okay and uh, this yeah will take the resolution like here and let's see okay 
Okay. First, I wanna I wanna select the 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 mask from here. Okay. And I wanna I wanna work on 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 something here, and uh, then we change a little bit the the, the network. And what I want to do is uh, multiply those two like this, okay? And now I would like to to split this into two, okay? So I will go for group, and uh, let's take the. Here we go with pixels. The count okay and we divide this by two now the the result it's a, it's a, an integer but what if we have uh, i don't know uh, this type of number right and now so th the group it's taking something with uh, with a fractional uh, number and uh, we go for uh, mat dot sale from from this expression and now we good and here we do the same but we take the other half so we just copy this expression okay we go back on fraction and one and here in group left we use the same expression okay in this case the one of them has uh, uh, 511 and the other one has uh, 510 so we are we are good now i will flip this okay uh, flip it uh, x y like this and I want to uh, add them together since where I have black it's zero so uh, it's okay and in add I want to use uh, uh, native resolution and align to right and see the center we good here okay and now this texture okay let me make everything uh, nearest pixels and yeah maybe if we lower the count we can see better let's go with 63 here okay something like that and uh, yeah let's increase a little bit here for the chroma like this okay and now i want to use this uh, you see i have a uh, uh, two pixels diagonal in this case and in a case where uh, the texture is uh, um, uh, divided in in uh, uh, equal parts i have only one diagonal but this doesn't matter since i use this into a remap so let me show you okay here i here we have the texture we need okay and let's make a little bit of room here okay now anything I use has to uh, use this texture in a remap okay so I grab this texture into a select like this and here we go like this um, remap okay and uh, now the resolution it's um, it's different right so we go here for the remap we use uh, custom resolution we go for 63 here let me check so we is 32 63 okay so this okay and here we go again with uh, uh, mat dot sale 
from the half of it okay okay we good uh, here resolution and the uh, nearest pixels and if you look now okay you'll see it it's rearranging this texture into a smaller one and obviously a much optimized uh, texture for for the uh, GPU uh, workflow okay and now we, we do the same for for all of them actually we copy these two okay and we use them for for all uh, also for for this uh, for this mask okay so uh, let me make this actually we we don't need a mask yeah we we don't need a mask since since uh, it's taking uh, yeah it's already uh, cutting and put it uh, uh, in one one place so that means i use this okay here uh once again so one is here okay once again those two okay for for this one okay and uh, we don't multiply here we don't need let's see this one is good this one direction we good this is direction and uh, the points are here okay we don't need this we said okay and also for the points for the colors we use the same yeah something something like this let me uh, make uh, make them nice okay uh, let's see so multiply we don't need and uh, yeah we're good now okay we have the same result with uh, half of the of the textures okay so this is uh, this is good what else we can do instead of using a line what if we use um, a box and so let's have a, a box sop okay and uh, we go for um, zero point zero one and uh, one for the z we take the uh, size on z and put it into uh, center z then divide by two and uh, then we have this uh, uh, box now uh, in the right place and let's change the the line now we have uh, geometry okay and uh, let's change the material here into a phone one like this okay one thing that uh, you can do is um, play with these uh, uh, spheres okay and um, how we do that okay let's see first I would like to to judge each point uh, how many how many uh, connection it got and uh, then the the sphere uh, would be uh, uh, bigger um, as um, okay so I go I go here 
Okay. Let's take into a select this texture, right? And let's analyze this one a little bit. I don't know, maybe here. I would like to use an analyze here. Maybe not right now. Instead, let me check a little bit. Okay, so now here we have. Okay, we good. Let's use a mod here. And we go for ceiling. Okay, and now if we analyze by columns, okay, I can see here the average, the average for um, how many connection a points uh, uh, has. And um, before we multiply with how many points we got to, to uh, have the sum, I would, I would like to uh, use a reorder here. And so I'll take the same texture also for alpha. Okay. And this has to be, I don't know, maybe um, 32 mono plus alpha. Okay. And for the alpha, it will take the, the, the red, something like this. And now I use the feedback here okay and uh, yeah I have some values here let's have a, a null I don't know and uh, I want to use those value here for the the spheres um, uh, scale and how many do I have here? It's uh, 63 by 1. So count by 1. Here we have uh, 64 since it's the, the full texture. What we can do here, we use a group. Okay. And instead of the count, we go for the uh, map square okay so we use this oh sorry about it so map square okay now we good and uh, we drag this null for the for the scale okay let me okay let's see so r r for for all okay and now if i use a, a, a mat here i can increase uh, this uh, this value let's go first for for uh, root okay now okay So maybe if I multiply here, so I have the average. Uh, if I if I multiply the average with how many points I got, then I have the sum. Okay, but uh, I use this feedback, and uh, I'll do the sum uh, now. Um, so I multiply the average and the feedback with uh, 63. OK. And this is this is good. And uh, obviously I can I can have. Um, let's make like this. OK, I can have a, a 
a math operator just to to tweak the the scale okay so let's see okay so not root maybe square okay it's too big Yeah, maybe one here will do that. Okay, we, we, we leave it like like that for now. And uh, yeah, let's go with uh, the spheres uh, on detail. Let's go with uh, six. It's much, much better. What if we, we use also some colors like like the, the, the lines? And uh, while the, the lines took the color from the position, okay what if we we do the same here and so uh, I'll take the position for for this I use again a limit I love this uh, new top which uh, yeah looks like a limit job okay and uh, here I go for normalize so all my colors now are much better and a null and now let's use this for colors in second tab okay okay now yeah we we done this is the the plexus and uh, you can go uh, quite crazy with this i mean uh, yeah now since there are too many okay or also the the sum uh, it's it's big and uh, yeah let's uh, decrease this okay and uh, you see now you can spread the the points uh, in uh, in noise here if we scale by uh, point 0.2 okay and uh, i don't know yeah you can you can get uh, so many nice uh, shapes out of out of it if if you play with uh, with the balls uh, scales and um, yeah this is the this is the the tutorial that i I wanted to to show you and um, I really hope you like this and uh, hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already or you can support me on patreon that I have uh, a brand new tutorial in which we play with this uh, flying tinsel uh, I I call it okay and uh, yeah if you if you like to to join me uh, uh, there now i want to thank to all my patrons and um, special thanks uh, goes to anti allies brandon tay breakwood daniel clark darian brito dimitri diak fraxinus kevin greber ois nolar priam givord and Roy Gerritsen. Guys, thank you so much for your support and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.